girls and welcome back to another weekly video it is jd here and i'm so excited to see you guys okay so we are talking about the same thing this week and our question of the month is whose way is perfect and do you guys remember the answer to that question whose way is perfect god's way is perfect awesome job god's way is perfect okay now in today's Bible story, you're going to hear about a man named Naaman. And Naaman had this, had this thing called leprosy, where he had boogles all over his skin, right? But he wanted to be healed. And, um, but he trusted God to do something that he didn't know if it was going to work or not. And so he was told to go jump in a river seven times. That means he has to jump in and jump out. Then in, then out. In and out. Seven times in order to be healed. Now, he kind of questioned whether it was actually going to work and whether he was actually going to be healed or not. Hmm, what do you think? Do you think that he was healed? Hmm, we'll learn more about it and we'll hear what the answer is um, when the Bible story comes later on. All right, but for today, we're going to pretend that we're at the river. We're going to jump in and out of the river seven times, just like Naaman did, okay? So we're going to pretend like, uh, you know, maybe we have our bathing suit on or something, you know? And we're going to jump in, then we're going to get out, then we're going to jump in, then we're going to get out. All right, ready? So stand up to your feet. Stand up. Ready? So we're going to jump in once. Ready? Here we go. And one. Okay. Get out, get out the water, get out the water. Shake off the water, shake off the water. All right, you ready? Here we go. And two. All right, good job guys, get out the water. Ready for three? And three. All right, all right, all right. Shake off the water. Here we go. And four. Okay, get out, let's get out the river. Four, here we go. Here, 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 get ready for five and five. Oh, almost there, guys. Almost there. Two more, two more. Here goes number six. Jump in number six and six. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And here is the last jump to make it number seven. Here we go. Make it big and seven. Oh, that's it seven jumps into the river. Did you guys get um, wet? I know I did. <laughs> All right, awesome job. Thank you guys for coming with me and jumping into the river. And I know you'll be excited to hear about the Bible story that's coming up later on. All right, again, it's JB here and I'm so excited to see you guys next week. All right, bye. <laughs>
Muddy mess, are you? Hi, Ollie. It's going to be so hard, I don't know if I can do it. Doing the right thing can be hard. It's true. I've got just the Bible story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. the last one. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm working on a project, and we need lots of bricks. Hmm. Can you count them with me as I put them away? All right. Here's one. <sighs> that was heavy. <laughs> Okay, uh, how many is that? Two, okay, all right, let's keep going. Wow, okay, <laughs> that was some hard work. <laughs> Oh, now, how many bricks did I put away? Seven? Wow, that doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but when you're picking them up one by one, it's really hard. You know, that reminds me of our story today. If you want to help me build it. Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready, uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Naaman. Naaman was a very important guy. He was in charge of a big army. He was used to doing things his own way. One day, Naaman got sick. He had lots of spots on his skin, and it hurt really bad. There was no medicine that could make the spots go away. Now, Naaman heard about a friend of God's who might be able to help him. So Naaman took his horse and chariot and went to find God's friend, Elisha. When Naaman got to Elisha's house, a messenger came out and told Naaman that if he wanted to get better, he needed to go wash himself seven times in the river. Seven times? <laughs> well, that sounded very hard. This made Naaman very angry. Naaman was angry because he thought Elisha was going to make him better right away. Seven baths sounded too hard. You know what? 
Sometimes following God's way is hard, but we have to remember, God's way is perfect. Naaman, you just have to jump, jump, and go God's way. Finally, Naaman went God's way and washed seven times in the river. Can you guys count Naaman's baths for him? Ready? Go, Naaman! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And look, his spots are gone! <laughs> Ooh, yep, I do a happy dance too! <laughs> way to jump, jump, and go God's way, Naaman! <laughs> it was hard, but you did it, and now, you're all better. See, God's way is perfect. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. Naaman did a hard thing. And we can follow God's way, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! Naaman had to do something really hard, but he did it because he trusted that God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! This is going to be really hard. But my dad told me to do it, so I will. I wonder if I have to scrub my boots seven times. One. Two. Three. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31.